What is up, Flock Phoenix over here, and welcome back to another Farming Sim 19 Mod Spotlight. This is where we check out some cool mods. I give you guys my thoughts and opinions, and then I leave them linked down in the description down below so you two can go download them uh, for yourself if you are interested. Now, it's snowy, and th there's a long backstory here because I wanted to use the Just Snow mod, but some of the snow plow mods don't work with the Just Snow. It, you have to have seasons, so it was a bit. Vey. So instead, I figured we just put seasons in, we get some snow with the snowy lands mod, and then we check out some cool snow mods that we haven't really done. We have a couple, we, we, there's a, you know, snow and uh, snow adjacent, you know, like we have a, a wheel loader, we have a uh, dump truck, all that um, to check out. But first, let's go and check out, uh, let's check out these shops first. So, someone has taken the... Uh, shops from the Welker Farms map and has turned them into placeables. This one's actually pretty small. Do the lights work? <gasps> they do. Oh, do you, do you have to turn them on for each one? Looks like it. Yep, okay. So it looks like the light switches here. Okay, we have lights. What about this last one? This one's relatively small, though. You can't, you can't really fit much in here. So here's one. And if you guys aren't familiar with the Welka Farms map, it was in 15. I think they, they converted over 19. I'm not sure. Uh, I wasn't a huge fan of the map, but I did like the buildings that were on the map. So let's head on over here. This is the other one. This is probably my favorite of the bunch. What's that weird? There's that one. Is this little door open here? No. Okay. It's a nice little shop. So odd. We have what's this? Got lights there. Is there a light switch here? Maybe this. Aha! Oh, it's still dark over here. We have a light switch here. Up. Oh. oh, that's not. There we go. Alright, so yeah, this is probably my favorite, uh, super nice shop. And we have one last one over here. Oh, can we climb the ladder? Please so we can climb the ladder. Can we? Oh. Oh. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Alright. Now I'm down over here. These open, I'm pretty sure these open. Yeah, alright. So yeah, there you go. Uh, I'll give the shop pack 5 out of 5. It's a nice looking shop pack. Uh, all the all the stuff work has working lights, working doors, uh, so you really can't you can't say anything negative except for that it's floating. Can't really say anything negative about it. Uh, a lot of detail to it. So five out of five. It's an engine just chilling on a pallet check. Yeah, it is. Why does it look like it's getting dark again already? All right, then we have to check out. Iconic Mods has put out, this, he put this out a couple weeks ago, and I'm just now getting around to it. Uh, a paint booth. Okay. Do we have lights? Oh. Lights on? Aha! Does it, does it, can you actually, like, fans on? Oh, wow, you can actually hear them. That's pretty cool. Uh, this, I think this is for the lights. Yeah, all right. What's it? Is this is a generator. Can we turn that on? No. Let's back away and walk up to it. No. Okay. Does this door open? This door opens. Okay. Lights on. Does this do anything? Is it just like a... I'm not seeing like a shop trigger or anything. Does it... Does it not do anything? It's a generator, air compressor. Am I dumb? I'm dumb. Okay. So yeah, no. It doesn't look like it does anything. 
Yeah, bummer. It would have been cool if it put a shop trigger. Maybe it is, and I'm just missing something. If you guys know, feel free to let me know. So, let's jump in this bad boy here. Let's make our way over if we can. The only thing that's bad about the Wood Meadow trucks is they have no, no, no oomph. When, when you get backed in the snow, you forget about it. Let's do the plow first, see what we can do with the plow. Um, menu? There we go. Customize. Main color. Ooh. Oh, oh, okay. That's it. Alright. Let's see if we can. Just kind of clear out an area by hand. Doesn't have to be super nice. Just gotta clear, clear, clear a little bit of land for that. All right. All right. I think that's. I think that's good enough. Let's go ahead and move this off to the side. Let's bring this bad boy in. M customized. We have a Western Star 4700 dump truck. We can change the color of it. Let's do. Can we do black? Uh, orange. Yeah, let's do orange. And then we'll, we'll make the bed the same color. Because around here, they're all. Well, technically, the. Around right here, the some, some are cab or orange beds, orange in the back. Or the other is cab orange, and the bed is like an aluminum looking thing. Anyway, so we'll, we'll just make it orange. Uh, dump truck beacons. Oh, those beacons up there. Ooh. Oh, let's do a salt spreader. Uh, oh, light bar. Let's do uh, salt spreader with light bars. Uh, tire chain? Oh, yes. Tire chains, for sure. Customized. Yes. I already bought the... Hey, this actually... I think this might actually help it in the snow. I think the chains actually... Do the chains actually do something or am I imagining that? If I'm imagining this... I'm gonna be so bummed. I was supposed to do it the other way. I know. I I, I failed. Let's get us some salt up on her. Okay. I'm only gonna do one. I don't know how many. I know we got at least one other mod that has. Let's turn our bacon zone. Or our lights. Yeah, I think I think the chains actually do help. Let me know what you guys think. If you've played around with this truck, the chains help. I missed. I, I've totally missed my. Uh, where am I going? 
Yeah, I totally missed the road here. Just get readjusted here. All right, we the plow we have a five out of five. Uh, it works. Uh, the, I mean, you can change the colors to. I wish that the top would change colors too. Uh, just a little, just to make it all match. But uh, other than that, I, I mean, it works. Pr it works really good at pushing the snow. So five out of five. What else could you want? Um, well, let's check out and see. How this does. Okay, so it might not do anything. I feel like we had this discussion before on another uh, truck. It didn't look like it was doing much. We're gonna get to the other side and plow some from the front and shoot out the back, see if it helps. Someone said last time it only takes like one layer of snow off. Okay, I don't know how many layers are here. <laughs> so, ooh, we hit something. Ooh, hung up on here. Yeah, sure, let's plot 51 miles per hour. That's how you get it done. Alright. We're out. So I don't see where it did much. Which, I mean, snow's not gonna instantly, or salt's not gonna instantly melt the snow that's it, this much. So, you know. It was, just, it was nice to have in 17 where, where it, just, it would just melt the snow for you. But we'll give the truck a 5 out of 5. It's a beautiful looking truck. I love the different options. Uh, everything works on it. So 5 out of 5 for the truck. Alright. Oh, hey, let's, uh, let's do one of these. Next up, we have a snow plow pack to test out. Which is on the JCB up here. This was just released right before I started doing this video, so brand new. Yeah. Right. Oh, before we do that, let's go see what options we have. <gasps> I'm good. Does it not? Okay, there we go. That's how you tilt it. It's kind of thick right here. That's a thick boy right there. Mm -hmm. See if we can not make a huge mess of our little shop area. Let's drop that first. See what options it has. Menu. Customize. Uh, main color. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, that's weird. All right. Um, what color is that? Class monster. I like that. We're going to go with it. Design color, communal orange number two. Yeah, it looks actually like that. It look, it's Kella's look. That, oh my god. Uh, no name, Epoke, Roscoe, or Rasco, Hoyer, Call Block. What, what, let's do, I like, like Epoke. 
It's a funny name. Uh, warning strips. Uh, yeah, let's do warning strips. Rubber on the edge. Yes. Flags. <gasps> yes. Customize. Yes. Go ahead and move that out. The JCB is just the in-game JCB, so we don't have to see what it can do. So we're just going to drop this salt spreader. Maybe? Goodness. Let's see what we can do with it. Hello? Got to prop it up a little bit, apparently. Customize? You can't do anything with it. Alright, cool beans. I think the salt sprayer is part of it, a part of the pack. If not, it's just this plow. <laughs> okay. Alright. Go ahead and lower you so we can open up this path a little bit more going the opposite way. I mean, I think it's safe to say that the plow works. It's got a lot of feet. I love the flags on it. Oh, hey, let's turn on our beacons for safety. Here we go. Alright, let's let's fill this one up. As I, said, I think that's a thing. Can we fill it up? There we go. It's just got a really small trigger. There we go. Alright, let's see if this one does. there's some there's some sort of collision here that the camera does not like. Turn on. Okay, so this one does a little bit. You can definitely see this one working. So yeah, okay, maybe the person has a, a theory there. It only deletes the top layer of snow. Interesting. Okay. Better than nothing. I think what we should do is just leave it sit here and see if it knocks down this at all. Oh, okay. Uh, the pack will give 5 out of 5. Everything works. Uh, I, I don't know what to say. Um, salt spreader works. Plow works. Has has different options, different brand names, all that. So 5 out of 5. Next up, we're going to be reviewing the front loader, not the plow. The plow is a part of uh, of Wood Meadows uh, snow removal pack. There you go. Uh, he has a big snow removal pack on his page. Uh, all you have to do is when I link the Komatsu, you can go to the page, find the the snow removal pack, and download it there. Come on, that's a big pile. Okay, maybe I messed this up. <laughs> Can we swivel this at all? Just keep inching it. Just keep inching it. We're good. Let's see if we can clear a pass. 
over to our shop trigger. I think we might have this down a little bit too low. Try to bring it up just a little bit. Can we turn now? Yeah, we can. All right. Put a giant mound of snow right up against this building. Let's put it in the building. <laughs> Just pushed it right through the building. Nice. Okay. Alright. Now we're going this way. There we go. This thing is a beast. The plow, I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty sure it, part of it has to do with the uh, wheeler, but the freaking plow is a beast. There we go. Let's just freight train it all the way. Just push it right through the wall. Yes! Alright. Now I've made a mess here. Let's go see if we can clean it up a little bit. Push another massive pile through the wall. Yeah, we can. Look at this. Just keep going, just keep going. Alright. One more. Hopefully get this stuff sitting here. No, nope, it's just not gonna... Maybe we, maybe we do what we just did here. I want to get this stuff here. To get like a clean... There we go. That should do. Now let's clean this up a little bit. Make it look a little bit nicer for, you know, even now our mod spotlight's halfway done. We can make it look a little bit nicer now. This is, this is, this is the cleanup job here. Freaking love this combination. There we go. Alright, that should be enough. Let's see what, what we can do with the Komatsu. Hope it's pronounced I'm pronouncing it right. I'm pronouncing how my buddy nothing. You can't do anything to it. Alright. Oh, wrong wrong ve vehicle. Do we have beacons? We have beacons. Do we have Blinkers, we have blinkers. We have lights, we have lights. Alright. So, the Komatsu, we're going to give it 5 out of 5. It's a freaking nice looking wheel loader. I will give it that. And it's pretty, I mean, it's handled the snow pretty well. I will say that. Uh, let's look at it. Oh. Except when pallets get in the way. There we go. So yeah, we'll give it a 5 out of 5. It's, it's really nice. I like it. Alright. Next up, we have... Uh, we, we have a snow blower. The tractor is in-game tractor. That's not, that's not a mod. Actually, I think it is a mod. I think it's Iconic's New Holland pack, to be honest with you. So let's go ahead and I guess we do this. We have to unfold it. Pipe out. Can we Yeah. Can can it does it go up? There we go. 
turn this bad boy on. Is it even... Oh. Left control I. There we go. Holy crap. I'd say it works. Oh, it works in reverse too. That's a bit un not legit. So if we, what if we parked it on like a hill? What? Let's let's do that up here. Because I don't want want it all to come back where we've just cleaned up. So if we were to do like something like this, of course there's gonna be a tree in the way. Uh, where's the big pile? If we were to do something like this. Wonder if it would go all the way to the ground. No, you have to be moving for it to work. Looks like. All right. Let's see if it has any options to it. Customize wheel setup standard wheels. Let's do wheels. Uh, side wings config standard wings at it. Let's do wings at it. Let's see if that does anything to it. That controls that. Okay, this controls it. Ooh. Okay. What's this control? Oh, that controls that. Alright. So let's turn it on. See if we have a wider width to work with now. Okay. I like it. I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. It's a neat little mod. It works. Uh, this would probably be better for like if you're just like like do, do one of these here. There you go. Something like this. <laughs> probably not blow it into uh, the other lane of traffic but it's still cool. I'll give it a 5 out of 5. It works. Got some options to it. 5 out of 5. Now we have two more and we're already a half hour long. Whoopsies. Fans are still just a going in there. Alright, now we have another snowblower. This one. Unfold pipe first. Let's unfold the pipe. Okay, it's set to this side. So it's Turn it on this side here. Dang, okay. This one just devours these. Oh, yes. We're doing it. Hello, you, sir. Oh, my God. It's just devouring it. Yes, so much yes. Come 
can we okay so we can't control. let's just do it the highest it's fine by me and that turns okay all right so even if we did like this side it would probably still be far enough away it's not gonna affect yeah it's still far enough away it's not gonna affect where we've already plowed that's pretty cool all right Yes, so much yes. Dude, I'm in love with this thing. Alright, let's see if it has any options to it. I need to go through this. Uh, there it is. So you can change the color on it. That's it. All right. I ain't gonna worry about buying another one for it then. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta do this. Let's turn it away from where we're at currently. And let's just devour this this mountain here. So much yes. <laughs> All right, this is definitely gonna get five out of five. This is probably my favorite of that we've done today. Uh, I love, <laughs> I love the animation. Uh, it works. I, I don't know what else you can ask for. Uh, five out of five. That thing is awesome. All right. So the last one we have to do is uh, Wood Meadow Farms has added or updated the gator to include a plow now, but I can't seem to get it to go up. That's why it, this is a mess. I'm probably gonna make a mess of what we've already done. But yeah, I can't. I won't, it doesn't lift. I've hit V. I try to use the mouse buttons. That controls that. So I guess it's just permadown? I, I don't know. That kind of stinks. Um, for that, I'll give it a 4 out of 5. I might do something wrong. I might be doing something wrong. If I am, feel free to let me know and I'll definitely correct it. But for some reason, I can't get the plow to go up. I'm using I'm using the UTV plow. This thing it works freaking amazing. But I can't seem to get the plow to go up. So if you know how, let me know in the comment section down below and I will I will change my rating on it for sure because I freaking love this. Just boogieing around in a gator plowing snow. It's not affected whatsoever. Look at this. Yee. Yee yee. Alright, so that's gonna do it for today's stream, guys. Wait, does this have beat? Oh, it does. So much. Oh, I just nailed that barrel. My badsies. My badsies. Oh, my goodness. Get out of the way, barrel. Get out of my way. There we go. So, yeah, for sure, this thing gets a 5 out of 5. If you guys did like this video, be sure to leave a like down below. If you guys want to see future Farming Sim 19 Mod Spotlights, be sure to click that subscribe button. If you guys want to be notified whenever I do go live or upload a video, be sure to click that notification bell. If you've done it already, do it again because, you know, you know. Anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you so very, very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!